Okay, we're going to walk through assignment 8 on Markov decision processes in grid world. We're going to use the same sorts of examples that were in this week's uh, unit uh, and the Stanford videos that Sebastian Thun went over. Um, we've coded this in Java, a simple implementation of that that you can download either from GitHub or from the zip file that's attached. Um, so when you uh, bring this in, uh, and open up. There's one file here uh, and one class called MDP, and so it's not that complicated. Um, so first, we lay out a grid here, and there's a couple of different sample grids, and we'll have you uncomment uh, some of these and try out some different ones. So there's some sample grids here. Um, there are some declarations for movements around. Um, and moving up, down, left, right, uh, there's a way of coding this so we can do it in a loop. So we code these movements uh, in, in an array here. We then create a two-dimensional array to store all the values that we're going to use. And then also the po policy is going to be a character. So if you look down here, we're going to eventually end up with um, uh, values. And again, we're going to try, we're going to iterate over this and try to find the uh, uh, the best value for each of the grid spots, but you're also going to keep track of the policy, what direction we should move uh, for each of the grid spots. So the policy is a character array and the value is a double array. Um, there's some things we can figure that can figure the success probability uh, and the failure probability is calculated from this. Um, and that's again, uh, as you remember in the videos, if you try to go up, there's, in this case, an 80% chance you will succeed in going up, and then 10% chance you go uh, left or right uh, in both ways. So that's, that's the success and failure probability. Collision cost is if you run into a wall, uh, either the edge, the border, or there's these obstacles in your way. Uh, right now there's no cost for that and step yeah, there might be a step cost uh, sometimes this is called R and this is how much it, you pay like in fuel or just in energy or whatever for making every step um, the wall value is just uh, a, a set value when we lay out our grids that's the value of the wall so when you look up here a minus 999 that's a wall anything that's um, not zero then or is plus or minus is a goal everything else is zeros to start with um, when we lay things out so minus 999s are obstacles you can't go through and anything other than zero then is a goal you know, either a negative goal or a positive goal Okay, um, and there's normal functions in here, methods for initializing the values, for printing off our arrays, initializing the policy, and printing off the policy uh, here. Um, we have a, a method for moving around, uh, and we check if we hit a wall, we have to pay a collision cost uh, for colliding in the wall, and then we end up back where we started. Uh, we check all our moves, so we try to move up, down, left, and right. Uh, and try all three ways and we're looking for the maximum value each uh, direction um, so we're trying to move all three directions and each time we're trying to check if the new value is going is um, less than the the value we're given we're, we're trying to find that um, and then um, we're also going to do some uh, processes with stochastic moving Again, where we're, uh, we, we uh, check, uh, there's a chance we might move up and we have a chance we might move down and left and right. So we check uh, based on the probabilities which way we're going to move. So we've got that in place. And the main just set this up and calls this stochastic value thing that uh, goes through every grid, repeatedly checks every spot in the grid, updates all the um, values and keeps track to the policy and we keep doing that as long as something changes this and eventually it'll stop changing so if we run this in the simple uh, grid here um, we can see it starts everything zero and this is our grid uh, by default uh, policies are there and then we keep update we start updating it 
Um, so we update values, and again, near the goals, the values are updated, and, and then they, those values spread as we move around the grid. We keep updating, we keep updating all these values, uh, and keep updating, and finally, they're no longer changing. Uh, so this is our final uh, policy. Uh, values and here's our policy so for every grid so uh, from like this spot you want to go right this spot you actually go up and then you might end up right and here go right and again we don't have any we have set up certain um, parameters there's no step cost here and no collision cost so it's more likely to run into walls okay so let's go to this assignment so you're going to run uh, on the three grids that are in here, uh, you want a standard run with, uh, again, what we have, zero step cost, zero collision cost, and success probability of 80.8. And then you also want to run it again with the step cost of uh, negative three, uh, collision cost of 10, and a success probability of 50%. So only half the time we get up. So you're going to change these values uh, here and run it multiple times and see what we have. Now you're going to have to try different grids. So there's a couple standard grids here. Um, and you can actually choose there. I said any of the three, but there are four grids. You can choose three of them. Um, let's just do, I'm going to do this one. So you can highlight this now. Under source, there's this uh, toggle comments. That'll comment all this off. And then I can comment this, add comments to this by just going, you can also hit just uh, control slash. It'll do the same thing. And now when I run it, it'll use this larger grid and set up the policy for that. Okay, so you have to run it uh, these two different ways, run three different grids, and kind of pay attention uh, This submit the final policies. So the final policies are these movement grids here. Uh, submit those. Uh, and a paragraph describing some of the difference between the two runs. Uh, what did you notice when, um, when all of a sudden we had to pay for step costs and collision costs? The last thing you have to do is set up your own grid. This is a parking lot at St. Scholastica's Duluth main campus. You want to make this into a grid. We've uh, So if we had a um, car in here we wanted to drive out of here, uh, how would we map it out? So there are three, there are actually four goals. These are three good goals, and this is one bad goal because it ends, goes to a dead end here. So this would be a negative goal. And again, you can just kind of lay this out as a, a grid of X's and I mean of zeros and uh, obstacles so you can't drive in this grass here you also can't drive where these parked cars here and this sort of stuff don't make this in a very large grid um, I say you could probably do a 10 by 10 grid uh, to try to lay this out so just see if you can kind of approximate this layout uh, as a grid it's kind of similar to this this is a um, this is an 8 by 12 grid you know, something about that size, you should be able to kind of get this. Uh, you don't have to probably worry that this is at a slight angle. You could just, you know, from uh, think of this as all straight or whatever. Do the best you can. So try to lay this out in a grid and then run this as a grid and submit the policy. And remember, the policy is this uh, square here. I mean, this uh, character array that shows the direction. So the idea is that... Uh, when we had this made, if a car knew it was at any location in this, it would know which way to go. It wouldn't have to calculate every spot. We'd know where to go. Okay, so that's our look at MDPs.